welcome to your love reading for October 15th through the 31st. Thank you guys for hanging in there while I get your readings out. Um, it's been quite a month so far, and uh, for quite frankly yesterday, I needed to take the day off. I had uh, stuff planned on Sunday, so I, I could not stay here and just record readings all day. Unfortunately, <laughs> fortunately for me, because I actually um, really needed to get out and do something other than read tarot. But that's just how it goes, and yes, these readings are going slow. I was hoping to have a lot more done by now, but the uploading is going slow, the the whole thing, this half of the month. So, I don't know. Um, I'm going to be exploring different formats here, and so far I like doing the bi-weeklies, but it is uh, going very slow right now. So, thanks for your patience. Um... But yes, this reading is from, still from October 15th through the 31st, so you should still pay attention to the energies that I am speaking about, even though we are now at the 16th of October. Um, I'm still reading for the second half of October. All right, got that out of the way. And for your reading today, I am using the Bonefire Tarot deck as my primary tarot deck. I will be clarifying with the viewers the Villa Italiana. This is my little Italian oracle deck. I'll pro probably just be using those on court cards and Major Arcana. And then at the end of your reading, I'm pulling a chakra card. These are from the Psychic Tarot for the Heart. And we're going to be looking at what chakra we need to balance, what chakra might be out of balance, needs activation help, energy, etc. Um, and then tying that into the reading, hopefully. So a little bit of a healing message there at the end. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Let's get started. Hi Capricorn, welcome to your reading. Spirit, what are the love messages and energies that you have for the sign of Capricorn from October 15th through the 31st? This is their love forecast, love reading. For all Capricorns that may be watching, Capricorn suns, Capricorn moons, and Capricorn risings. What does Capricorn need to know, Spirit? What are the most important messages and energies? That you have for the sign of Capricorn for October 15th through the 31st. for Capricorn, October 15th through the 31st. At the bottom of the deck, I've got the Nine of Coin in reverse. Nine of Coins in reverse, excuse me. So this could very well be your energy. We have the Earth sign energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn here. As you can see in this card, there's a tortoise. So someone is going very slow. Slow, 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 slow. So this could mean that in a love relationship or just in your life in general, things could be just moving at a hair's pace. Um very slow energy. Some people might interpret this as feeling stuck or there could be someone that you like but that you aren't coming forward with your feelings. There's a bit of stubbornness here. Um, not saying that you're being stubborn. If you are dealing with another earth sign they may uh, be ignoring you or they may I sometimes see this as um, you know, someone that has like turned their back to you. So uh, perfectionistic, stubborn, feeling stuck. He says, sorts of lack of communication. It could be someone that you're not communicating with, you're not communicating with someone, or there is just very slow progress at this time. So let's go ahead and take a look at your cards. The Empress. Okay, fertility. That's very nice. We have the Emperor crossing you. Well, the Empress and the Emperor in the reading, very powerful. The Emperor is coming up reversed for me. 
King of Coins in the root position. Queen of Coins, what's crowning you? We're definitely dealing with some kind of partnership here. Both the Queen and King, the Emperor and the Empress. If you are with your significant other, if you haven't met your significant other, you're going to because this is really powerful energy here. Queen of Wands in reverse in your past and then the Death card coming up. Lots of change, lots of transformation this month. Huge transformation. And especially going into Samhain, into Halloween, uh, very appropriate to have the Death card here. It is all about letting go and a new cycle starting. So, um, like I said, we have the counterpart of the Empress and the Emperor in your reading, as well as the Queen of Coins and the King of Coins. So I really feel like you are, I may be reading for someone who is in kind of like a power couple arrangement. I'm kind of getting power couple. I'm getting married couple, something like that. Um, but you are coming in as the Empress, Capricorn. So you could be pregnant. You could be expecting. The Empress is a very mother mothering kind of energy, mother-like, Venusian energy. Um, you know, Mother Earth connected to the Earth. Um, you may be very fertile at this time, so just be careful or take precautions if you don't want to become pregnant. I was getting the number three here. I feel some of you are expecting. Some of you Capricorns could be expecting. And... Um, this talks about abundance, being open to love, feeling loved, being able to give love. It's just a very warm energy around you. What is a challenge for you is the Emperor, and he's coming up reversed. Sign of Aries, sign of Leo. Some of you could be dealing with a um, Aries or Leo, but because we have the Empress and the Emperor, this could also be the baby daddy. This could be your counterpart. Because he's coming up reverse, this can be someone who maybe isn't fully stepping into his masculine role. There could be issues with rules and boundaries in a relationship. Or you could be dealing with someone who is a bit of a tyrant, very controlling energy, um, or someone has no respect for boundaries, other people's boundaries. Um, let's see what else I'm getting. Well, this is also in reverse someone who favors their emotions over logic. Which is, um, in a love reading, you probably, uh, I would prefer this to be upright, to be quite honest with you, but you could just be dealing with someone who is taking, who wants to take on a leadership role, but isn't, or is not taking on a leadership role. Um, the emperor can lose his temper very easily, and it's because he feels out of control. So we'll have to go ahead and clarify that. At the root of the situation, we have the King of Coins. So we have Earth sign energy again, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I'm getting a masculine energy here, but it can be, uh, doesn't matter. Um, I feel like this is your energy, or you're dealing with this, again, the, like the father of the child, or the uh, male counterpart in the relationship. Because we have both the female and the male. So it's almost like, you, Capricorn, could be taking on both roles this month. You could be exploring your feminine role and your masculine role. Um, well, what is contributing to the situation of you feeling like the Empress? Are you being the Empress as the King of Coins? This is someone who's very stable, is a very good provider. He, romantically speaking, is good because he's very choosy, and if he picks you, he's going to be around for a long time. This often speaks to true love. Someone's love does not die easily. So I feel like either you are in love with someone or you are pregnant with someone's child and this is the King of Coins uh, represents the stability of a relationship, uh, the fruit of the relationship, something that is very stable financially because this is someone that can manage their time. So either I'm talking to someone who's a super mom <laughs> Or, and you can do it all, or, or someone that um, really fully understands the feminine and masculine aspects of their personality. Um, okay, so in the recent past, you do have the Queen of Wands in reverse. I'm getting Leo Aries Sagittarius. I'm most likely an Aries or a Sag female. 
and uh, she is coming up in the past position. We'll have to go ahead and clarify her, but um, when the Queen of Wands is reversed, someone it can be a bit of a wallflower. They can be very mean and demanding. Um, and this can also be someone who is very dramatic, like a drama queen. Um, and um, let's see what else, sorry. When she's reversed, um, she could have a fall from grace or be disgraced in some way or even be someone who is hiding their true feelings. Although I feel like this is someone that you know because it's coming up as a queen and right now she's not very, or she wasn't in the past very happy with you. I feel like this person feels like they've been snubbed in some way or um, there's definitely some tensions here. However, currently I feel like you are totally in your power, Capricorn. I mean, you have the Earth, the Empress, Mother Earth here. You're feeling very in touch with every aspect of your personality. And you're thinking and feeling like the Queen of Coins, so you may actually be running your own business. You're taking care of your home. You're taking care of your loved ones. You're really... Um, I see you like serving pie, like making cake. I mean, you are really taking on a nurturing role the second half of October. And then going into the near future, we have the death card. I see some really big changes coming up ahead for you. Some of you might be starting your own business, changing jobs, moving. I see a, like a big life transition for you. So if you are pregnant, it could be that you're expecting and, you need, and your whole life is changing because of this. But if that's not the case, uh, we'll go ahead and clarify it. But um, yeah, this is a huge transformation for you. What else am I getting here? Sign of Scorpio. We've got your root chakra, which is everyone's been getting the root chakra card. which deals with um, all your earthly needs, food, water, shelter, having those being met. So there could be changes in your resources, how you get your needs met very soon. All right, this is a very powerful major arcana energy, so we'll want to go in and clarify. Uh, the Empress, uh, the Emperor, we have a lot of cards here. I'll have to narrow it down, so... All right, Capricorn, so I think I'm going to clarify this emperor here crossing you, and he's coming up in reverse, so. Spirit, why is this emperor in reverse in Capricorn's reading? Why is the emperor in reverse crossing the empress in Capricorn's reading? Why is the emperor in reverse? We have a friend, a confidant, a guest, or a relationship of trust. Okay. Well, I wouldn't expect you to be in a real... Well, I guess it's interesting because we have the emperor and the empress, so <clears throat> either you're just... Uh, you're friends with this person, and they're coming up in the challenge position, or they were a friend to you in the past. Why is the Emperor in reverse? <clears throat> in Capricorn's reading spirit, why is the Emperor in reverse? We have the Fortuna. So this is, uh, it says luck. So a positive or unexpected event perhaps happening between you two. This person seems to be put on your path for a reason. A turn of fate, it says. A turn of fate regarding this emperor. Why is the emperor in reverse in Capricorn trading? I mean, this person seems to be on your destiny, or part of your destiny. Why is the emperor in reverse? Something's not quite right about this emperor. Why is he in reverse? This could also be someone who's unfaithful. 
I was just having trouble taking on the masculine role here. Comforting surprise, the consolante sorpresa. I always think of it as the consolation prize. But it says com comforting surprise, partial success, but less than expected. So someone has been successful, but they aren't getting maybe all of what they want. But there is some kind of a surprise here. This is a turn of fate with a friend coming up as this emperor. So Leo or Aries or a man. Strong masculine energy with the emperor. Can even be a female. Can sometimes represent a female energy. Doesn't always have to be a male energy, but I'm getting a masculine energy. Okay. Let's see. One of my nails is not doing too well here. And, uh, all right. We'll just have to move on. Let's see, let's see. What do we want to clarify next? We got the Queen of Coins. Let's clarify this King of Coins. Why is the King of Coins here at the foundation? There's definitely a ton of Earth energy in your reading. So this could even be a family issue, a family that I'm looking at here. With the Queen, the King, and the Knight. Someone with a young, young teenager or young adolescent. Why is the King of Coins in the foundation of Capricorn's reading? Why is the King of Coins in the foundation of Capricorn's reading? Who is this King of Coins? We have the La Superbia, haughtiness, ostentation, vanity, or arrogance. So this could be someone who likes to show off for some reason. Maybe they have a lot of wealth. Maybe they're very wealthy. Someone that tends to be a bit arrogant. Maybe even greedy. We have the lover. So this is a shy woman who hides her feelings. Here, clarifying the king of coins. So maybe this is a female energy here. Someone who is hiding her feelings. So, why is the King of Coins here? We have the prigione, imprisonment, the inability to act or feeling constrained. So there could be someone in a relationship here who has secret feelings for someone. Maybe they can't act for some reason, maybe because they're married. I do see a man here who, this, there could also be someone who is in prison here that you're interacting with, or someone that is feeling stuck, which would make sense. All right, so let's clarify the death going into the future here. Why is death card here? Why is death here? Why is death here, spirit? In Capricorn's future, why is death here? In Capricorn's future. We have the Mercante. This is some kind of agreement. Talks about <clears throat> some kind of an exchange, a contract, or a mediation. Someone kind of negotiating things. Right, we have the merchant who's concerned with exchanges. Some kind of interaction here with a contract. Perhaps the contract is ending or changing. This could be a work contract, marriage contract. We have the letter. So you are going to be receiving some kind of news. This could be a love letter or a business letter. A letter regarding a contract or a mediation involved with this change or transformation at the end of October. Why is the death card here? 
Why is the death card here, spirit? We have the old woman, the vecchia signora. This is a mother, aunt, grandmother, or old acquaintance. The letter could be coming from an old woman. And uh, regarding a contract, this could even be like an inheritance of some kind. Could be someone passing away and leaving, a, has a letter like a will of some kind. Just some suggestions, just some uh, things coming up here. And um, I also want to clarify this Queen of Wands in reverse in your past. Why is this Queen of Wands in reverse in Capricorn's past? Why is this Queen of Wands in reverse in Capricorn's past? What do we need to know about this Queen of Wands in reverse? We've got melancholia, depression, melancholy, or sadness. Someone is depressed. Could be a Queen of Wands, like a Leo, Aries, or a Sagittarius. This is definitely someone you know, and they're coming up as a depressed person in your past. Why is this Queen of Wands in reverse in Capricorn's past? Why is this Queen of Wands reversed in Capricorn's past? Let's see if anything else comes out. We have the Great Consolation. So gratification achieved after a long time. So this person, it's like they They feel satisfied. They finally got what they wanted, basically. They're, they, they're at peace now. Right? Gratification achieved after a long time. They feel consoled. But they were depressed in their past. What, do we, what else do we need to know about this Queen of Wands in reverse in Capricorn's past? We have the Lord. Grand Signore, a man of high society. So this is someone who... It's coming up as a king of hearts, right? So, um, it just says that this person is a well, good standing individual. They're doing quite well for themselves. All right, I'm going to stop there, Capricorn. And if you would like a private reading, I'd be happy to do one for you, but. In the interest of time, I'm, I'm going to stop with clarifying all the cards here. I could clarify all of them because you you have a lot of core cards. But um, let's go ahead and pull your chakra card. What chakra does Capricorn need help healing, activating, balancing, etc.? This second half of October. What chakra does Capricorn need help healing, balancing, activating, etc.? This month. We have the sacral chakra, your second chakra. So this chakra sits right, uh, right above your navel, right above your belly button. Okay, and this is rules your self-esteem, your confidence, feelings of self-worth. Okay, very important chakra, and um, the second chakra is uh, the color orange. Very important. What else can I think of here? Um, this is about understanding your own value as well. Feeling confident in your own skin. It always reminds me of the uh, that expression, I'm worth it, you know, what is it? <laughs> because I'm worth it. So I feel like that is kind of your mantra this month, Capricorn, because you're worth it, and you are, and if you are dealing with someone that is an emperor in reverse, you need to watch out. Um, I feel like you're going to be getting some communication in. Uh, I do see a lot of changes and positive changes for you, I think, happening this month. Um, but... Uh, You'll just have to let me know if you resonate in the comments. Thank you guys so much for your patience. 
I hope you have a wonderful rest of October. Take care.